No, you said that all wrong. <laughs> Which, what is it? I need to get this right if I'm going to be doing it. <laughs> And of course, I'm with my main man. <laughs> hey, how are you doing? And we wanted to give you guys a life update on what's happening, what we're up to post retirement. So here we are. We asked you guys questions on the socials, on Instagram, and we got so many responses. It's always really great. We've been having no responses. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank so, you guys for yeah, the support. Thank, thank you guys you. for the questions, being interested. We're excited for this whole new world. Whole new world. Okay, let's just jump into it. Jump into it. Let's jump do it. into it. There's so many questions. I hope you know this. I'm gonna hit you with the hard one right off the bat. Is Hunter sad that he's not playing anymore? Yes. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, like playing was so fun. And Nailed I, it. And I'm obviously sad, but there's a reason nobody plays forever. And yeah. you know, just kinda my body wasn't able to do what it always has been able to do. So it's a, it, I'm excited for the next chapter, but I will always miss playing. I loved it so much. Yeah, it gets hard on the body. It's hard on my body and I don't even play. Just the travel alone is hard. So I'm gonna just put all these questions into like one kind of overall question, which is, are you planning to stay in SF? Or are you moving to SF? And like, do you plan to move out of SF? This is us, right? This is both yeah, of us. This is like, just me. Okay. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you, you're, you're like, I know, but you're like the, giving the question to me. I'm like, well, we're going together wherever we go. Yeah, of course. We don't really have an answer. Though. We don't have an answer for this, and well, I know some people. We have semi, somewhat of an answer. Yeah, and some people have asked us like where home, our forever home, will be, and that's an excellent question. We don't know. We're in San Francisco right now. There's a potential we stop by Houston, so we're gonna be kind of back and forth. Yes. And we also have a lot of family in Southern California, so it's gonna be kind of like. Those will be our, our trinity. It'll be like Southern California, San Francisco, and Houston. So we'll have three bases and they're all, two, you know, San Francisco and Houston, we already have really nice homes. Yes, so we're gonna stay here probably till the end of the year, maybe with a trip back to Houston. We're not sure yet. I'm not, we're not 100% comfortable flying quite yet. And we'll probably go down south for the holidays. And I think we're gonna start looking for our forever home somewhere in California. We're just not exactly sure where yet. But we're on, we're stick with the, us because yeah. we'll take you guys along for the journey, we're of course. That out. As we good, figure good out where question. it is. Good question. Great question. Thank guys. you guys. Any coaching plans in the near future? We'll see. We'll see what happens. You know, I'm, I'm definitely open to broadcasting. I would love to talk on these things. I'm open to at advising. I don't know about coaching. Coaching is a whole different skill. Uh, I have a lot of thoughts and theories on winning baseball. I really love like studying spirituality. Mint mental stuff, psychology, motivational speaking kind of things. I'm definitely doing some, some streaming of gaming, so I'm into that. So uh, coaching, not sure yet, we'll see. How are you two doing, really? We're actually doing really good. We're finding our rhythm. We're, like at first, like I was like, you know, I, uh, I kind of needed a break <laughs> and I was just kind of floundering and Alexis was like, I need a schedule, we need to do it. And I was just like, just give me he a minute. He was like going to bed at like 2 a.m., waking up at like noon. And I was like, this Not is noon, just... I was waking up at like 10.30. We live in an apartment, so when he sleeps, like you have to be like quiet and you know? I'm never, I don't know what she's talking about, but we have, she was, she didn't like the floundering. No. <laughs> I see that. She didn't like that. And it was only for a little bit. I just need a little bit of time to kind of figure it out. And, yeah. you know, and, and everything's kind of like found its rhythm and we found our balance with, you know, Foxy and with things I love to do and like what I'm going to do now. And I've gotten into like a really good workout routine. She has her workout routine. We have our dog routine. And, mm -hmm. and now I have like a lot of things that I'm excited about and a whole bunch of things happening all at once. So it's super yeah. exciting time. And I think and we're doing- We found our schedule yeah. and everything is- We're doing really good though. Really good. Yeah. I like having him home, so I'm doing really good. Yep, it's mm -hmm. good. Me too. And now we get to explore a lot of stuff that we didn't really have the time for before, which is really yeah. fun. I still feel like our days are jam-packed. like. But of all fun. Yeah, it's That's jam packed nice with just like, yeah, lots of exciting, cool people, cool things, and uh, it's, so much and popping. things just keep popping up, yeah. What are you going to do now that Hunter retired? I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing, making YouTube videos. I think that this is a really interesting time to document our life because we're transitioning from being so much of our identity as baseball, and now we get to explore other areas of our life that we can lean into that we've always wanted to lean into and we have time to lean into now. 
which is really great. And we've explored a lot of the city and like the culture of San Francisco. Like I've never yeah. really gotten into the heart of the city. Yeah. And just doing a lot of like touristy, fun San Francisco things like, and there's still a lot more to explore and a lot more to learn. So. Yeah, uh, no, that's fine. I think, there's a, there's a so lot. I think that's kind of the nice part now is that we get to really lean into things that are outside of baseball and it is challenging because i feel like so much of your identity even with like my youtube channel so much of your identity does get caught up in baseball because it's every day so many hours like you really do have to just lean into being a baseball player or a baseball wife and so now it's interesting to kind of like re-identify myself figure out what exactly our plan is for you know let's get lexi pineapple labs all that stuff but it's a fun challenge and it's like getting to know yourself all over again you agree i agree will you be getting another fur baby foxy needs a bro <sighs> slash sis no plans on another fur baby <laughs> one fur baby is enough we're barely hanging on with this it's fur a, baby she's, she's in high heat right now and it is High maintenance. Yeah, it is. Full time it's been a job. challenge, yeah. But we love having her, of course. Yeah, she's awesome. Um, are you guys staying in the SFA area? Yes, for now. Any but... chance of opening a coffee shop, pop-up, et cetera, Lexi? I mean, the end goal is to have a Pineapple Labs pop-up here in the city, which will cover all like my stationery, pens, have a little coffee shop inside. That's Artwork. the end goal, right? Coral sword love. That would be cool, and it would be really awesome to open up a coral sword here. Maybe the Giants will, I'm putting it out in the universe. Maybe the Giants will ask us to put one in lot A. So you guys heard it here. Hopefully they ask us. So go ahead and plant that seed for <laughs> us, guys. What's next for Hunter? Do you want to tell them what you've been working on? So right now I'm, I'm streaming a lot on Twitch. I'm joining the gaming community, community, Magic the Gathering. I wanna to try to be like compete professionally, you know, compete in the tournaments and stuff. So, you know, my goal, my dream is to win a mythic championship and uh, or to win a pro tour of some sort. And um, so I'm, I'm on that grind, but also maybe broadcasting. I would love to talk baseball. I feel like I have a wealth of wisdom and some interesting perspectives on the game. And also, I still, I, I still love to learn. So I do know a lot about baseball my mind has like studied the game from so many different angles and I love thinking creatively and I love a lot of the new stuff that the you know I have a lot of the old school and I've learned a lot of the new school so I'm interested in talking baseball sharing that wisdom gaming uh, magic the gathering twitch stream go check me out Hunter Pence twitch TV I mean, you said that all wrong. Twitch, what is it? I need to get this right if I'm going to be doing it. <laughs> Twitch.tv forward slash Hunter Pence. Pence. Twitch.tv forward slash fun. Okay. <laughs> Come check it out. If you don't know Magic the Gathering, just hang out in the chat. We have good talks. Yeah. Did you ever play softball? No, I've never played softball. I don't want to play softball because I'd feel scared if I like hit one at like an infielder or something and like I don't want to hurt somebody. I played softball once. It was in the wives tournament, but we actually never played. We just you practiced. practiced a lot and then the game got canceled. <laughs> yeah. Where do you guys want to travel to once things are more normal? Great question. We have several, we have a lot of places we want to travel to. Yeah, we want to do France, Italy, and Japan, Vietnam. Yep, those are kind of, those are the ones. Yeah, so like literally Europe, everywhere. Europe, Vietnam, Japan. What are you looking forward to in retirement? I'm looking forward to gaming, trying to master magic. I'm looking forward to streaming. I'm looking forward to, honestly, also, I have a really big passion on planting trees, on helping the planet, on cleaning the ocean. So ocean conservancy, Johnny, I wanna be like Johnny Appleseed or something. I want so many trees to help the oxygen, help pollution, help our earth. That's my my dream, that's my, that's my drive. Someone asked, can I get your coffee in Reno, Nevada? You absolutely can get our coffee in Reno, Nevada. Just head to thepineapplelabs.com and get your order in there. I think she should start selling your art. She does like these really cool, Show the sushi. Show the sushi one. She did some sushi. I don't know if you can see it very well. She's done like way cooler ones. Hold on, let me show a cooler one. Be right back. Do you ever visit San Diego? I'll just answer these while Hunter is gone. Yes, we visit San Diego. We like it. This one she did for me because I love fairies. Super cool. Little mushroom. She does trees as well. Hunter's um, the best. I could literally give him like a finger painting of just nonsense and he'll be like, she's so good, you should sell this. I think I think people will want it and it's not nonsense. All right, well let me know in the comments below if you guys think I should sell my rock art. I think she should. Are you gonna be anything fun for Halloween? That's a great question. We are deciding what we're gonna be 
and I feel like this year is gonna be a little more calm, but I do think it's gonna be more Foxy based. Foxy's gonna be the show. Foxy's always the show now. Any kids in the future? We have Foxy. Someone said, will you be, will you be in Halloween costumes? Maybe you guys can be Ponch and John. The thought crossed my mind. Who? Ponch, Ponch and John, my uncle. Oh. <laughs> wah, wah. That's definitely crossed my mind before, but I don't know if most people would get that. I'm an old school watcher. What happened to Pina Pal Mal? She's right I'm an here. old school watcher. What happened to Pina Pal Mal? She's Pina here. Pal Mal is literally here. She's on one of the cameras. She's not with us as much anymore. Yeah, though, she, she moved, moved to, to Colorado. Colorado. But she's in town right now. Yes. But maybe one day her and I will be reunited on a daily basis again. We'll see. Depends, I guess, on our future plans, what's happening. Her future plans. Mal, do you have anything to chime in on that? <laughs> Giggles. <laughs> They're working hard on Pineapple Labs. They are crushing it. Cool things coming your way. I think the rock art should be one, but they got lots of like <laughs> crazy good stuff. Are you guys allowed to discuss which teams are interested in Hunter before he retired? I think we're allowed to discuss it, but I don't think, we don't feel right discussing it. I don't. No, I don't. You know. can. No, no. I'm just I don't, over here. No, I'm not. I don't want to really discuss that. Like. <laughs> You know, 2020 has been a tough year for everyone. Yeah. And 2019 was awesome. So I'm happy. You know, I got to retire a giant. I don't know if it's called retire. I got to get released a giant. Uh, <laughs> so I, I don't think know. the last, but it's funny. It was supposed that to be funny. Cute. But yeah, there were teams interested. But yeah, will Hunter be working in some capacity for the SF Giants next season? Who knows? Let's let this season fully we'll finish, and then we'll see. They have to. They haven't offered me anything yet. Are you too happy? Because that's all that matters. Yes, yes. we're very happy. We're very Thanks happy. Thanks for asking, and that is, and I hope you're happy too. Pence, how does it feel to retire as a forever giant? I'm very, very, very thankful. Very appreciative. I got to live a dream for 14 years. I never, you know, when I was a kid, like I just wanted to play as long as I could. I had no idea that I would get to play in the big leagues and for so long and for such great cities and for such amazing teammates and staff and the relationships and the journey along the way are just unimaginable and I'm full of love and appreciation for sure. Will you be sending more autographs? Yeah, I think when, like the COVID thing makes it kind of tough, but we're gonna work on it. Favorite restaurant in North Beach? We haven't tried a whole lot of restaurants in I've North Beach. I've only been to one restaurant in North Beach. But it's the magical pizza place as of now. What's the name But of we it? are planning to do a video on like exploring North Beach, so stay tuned for that. What is it? like Michelangelo's, but you keep telling me I no. I don't think it's Michelangelo's. <laughs> Stay tuned, we'll let you know what pizza place the name it's of it is It's a really called. nice pizza place and it closes at two. I think that's just because of COVID. Is that why? Yeah. Not a question, just want you and Hunter to know how awesome you guys are. Thanks, right. that's very nice. Will you open a coral sword in, in SF in the future? That's the dream. We definitely talk about it. It's gonna take some, uh, some work. It's not easy. What gives you joy right now? Oh, that's a good one. What gives you joy right now? Pineapple Labs is giving me joy right now. So is Let'sGetLexi.com. I'm really enjoying the content creation behind it right now. Sometimes I go in ebbs and flows of it though, where like I get feel burnt out, but right now it feels really exciting and fresh and new and like what we have coming out. I'm excited about my Twitch stream and uh, Magic the Gathering and gaming in general. There's a million games I love. I am, I'm like just overjoyed with all the good times I'm having right now. What are your plans for Let's Get Lexi and for Pineapple Labs? I've got a lot of plans for Let's Get Lexi, a lot more videos probably from Hunter's perspective. I don't know, it's nice to have like real blog content on there now that I have time to stay in one place and kind of concentrate on that. And for Pineapple Labs, we're always looking to expand more coffee, more collaborations with cool artists and we're gonna be expanding into stationery and desk stuff soon, so stay tuned for that. I think with like Coral Sword, I think our logo is so cool, and like I love the Coral Sword like clothing, and like I wear it all the time, so branding that and like making more of that stuff, because I love like the fantasy and I love the art. And I also have, there's a, the Brandon, Brandon Lee's uh, thing, his, his clothing. I just love like that that fittings. Brandon League was the sex major leaguer and he does like awesome stuff. He's from Hawaii, he's really stylish, so. We're kind of just going with the flow, seeing where it takes us, because I think when you work from a place of joy and happiness, you can never go wrong, right? I agree. Unless it seems to just keep snowballing though. The snowball keeps getting bigger and bigger and avalanching. So yeah. lots of cool things are just popping up and we just are. Yeah, that's the other cool thing too, is like we have been given 
we're getting a lot of cool opportunities at the moment because we have more time now. So stay tuned. You never know what you're gonna get with the pences. Until next time, you guys, thank you again for all your questions and thank you for sticking with us through all of this, all of your questions. We really appreciate it and for giving, because you guys have stuck with us for so many years, like I'm excited to really lean into creating more content. Let's do it. Yes. Thanks guys, see you in the chat. Bye.